This is the time when the talking has to stop and the action finally begins. A warm welcome to Wembley from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson and we're just seconds away from kickoff time in what promises to be a wonderful Carabao Cup final. It is Chelsea versus Everton. What a chance for one of these teams to get their hands on silverware. And over the years, we've seen some great League Cup finals. Let's hope today matches up to some of those occasions. Really looking forward to this one, Derek. Number 20, Callum Hudson Adoy. And number 9, Romelu Lukaku. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Well, I'm intrigued to see how their two midfield players cope in there today because they look very isolated. Yes, they're good athletes and skillful players, but it's asking an awful lot of them. And here's how Everton line up. It should be a match to look forward to. Chelsea get it underway. Sterling. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Mount. Romero Lukaku, a player who opposing defenders have simply got to keep tabs on. Stuart, you would expect he'll have something to say for himself here. Well, Derek, I thought he was brilliant last time out. Scored a couple of goals, but it was his general play as well that was excellent. Coming short to receive the ball, making runs in behind defenders. He was outstanding, and I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. And a really good diving stop. And they're going for the short one. And a harmless cross, gobbled up. Sterling. And now they have the ball back. Well, he strayed offside just as it looked promising. Kai Havertz. Hudson Odoi. Well, they know they need to stop him, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. And space to cross it. It is for Chelsea. Playing it in. Well, the defender deserves a bit of credit, to be fair. Yeah, I think you have to give credit to the defending there. Just enough pressure to put him off at that vital moment. Take it away. Polisic couldn't keep the ball. Now there could be a dismissal here. Well, under those circumstances, any referee would really be put to the test, and in this case, a booking steward. Well, it's a difficult decision, but I'm with the ref here. No red card for me.
it on target, but it was never going to trouble the keeper. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Lukaku. Well, that is how to run at defenders. But they took care of the situation defensively. Can he put them in front? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. And a throw in forthcoming. chance it was goalkeeper has it well they need to be more positive with their passing make more runs in behind the defense create overloads in the wide areas and then we oh, may see chance improvement. here in it goes but wait a minute that will not count well that was tight but he was just offside it was a good finish though Mount. It's a high level tackle. Brilliant. Chelsea throw in here. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Renan Lodi. And space for the cross. Fed over towards the back post. Well, clattered away. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. And given away. But well, he's got past his man. Could take the lead. Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So Chelsea restart the game. Can they come up with an answer? A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Well, action from the fifth round of the FA Cup, coming up soon on EA TV. It's Chelsea taking on Liverpool. Well, we're down to the last 16 now, so plenty to play for in that game, in what will be a tough encounter. Diallo. Hudson Odoi using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Guerrero. Christopher Ayer. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. And the flag raised. Offside it is. Time for the change now. And 
Chelsea regaining possession. This is the home of live football, EA TV, and we'll have live coverage of the fifth round of the FA Cup. It's Everton facing Fulham. Well, only 16 teams left, so that game will be fiercely competitive. Really looking forward to it. Well, as those stats show us... Oh, well, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. But he's gone short with it. Can he finish? And the body in the way. I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Could be a chance to break here. Serge Gnabry won it back. Gnabry with it. He'll have a go here. Well, the keeper kept it out with a minimum of fuss, but it wasn't a great effort. Well, the second half is drawing to a close, and so far, Everton getting the job done, Stuart. Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well, and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. And that's an important intervention. The onus is on Chelsea to be positive with time running out. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Could cross it in here. Not messing around with that clearance. Can they hit on the break? All hands on deck. This could be it! A really good stop at a critical stage. Well, had that gone in, there was no way back. Not much time left now, though. Going short. Martial in the middle. He's showing a real will to win the ball. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. And taking into account all the stoppages, three minutes to be added on. So a throw in here. Time is against Chelsea, but they... well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. And deep into the penalty area. A decisive clearance it was. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment.
full marks to the entire team and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy they've been brilliant in this competition and so have the fans they've really got behind their team they've played a big part in this win just look at those faces in the crowd great stuff They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans and these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time Now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.